Hey everyone, it's Independent TV doing another quick tutorial here. Uh, this time I'm going to do one on how to burn DVDs. Um, a lot of people talk about it, but nobody really knows. Um, I've known for ages. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick insight on how to do it. Um, you can do it with a heap of programs. The easiest one I reckon is this one. It's called Easy AVI to DivX uh, Burner. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description. You're going to have to use torrents to download the full version though. Uh, and I'll, find, I'll, uh, bleh, I'll provide that link in the description. Uh, so look out there. Uh, once you've got this program and it's fully installed and registered, uh, open up your DVD tray and insert... There's a text. Thanks. Uh, insert a blank DVD um, to the size of your choice, clearly, if the movie's a big movie, then you're going to need something like 4.7 gigs to 8 gigs um, on your disc. So I'm going to pop that into my DVD burner drive, uh, which is another essential. You can't burn movies without a DVD burner. Um, so once I pop that in, open up the ECAVI to DivX program that I was just talking about. And give it a second to load. Any moment. There it is. Uh, just let that pass. Uh, click, uh, well first of all, come down to these settings down here and click NTSC to 16 by 9 uh, If your TV is still square TV, uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio and it's still PAL, Clearly click those and it will sort everything out within the burner. Uh, you can change change all these labels and stuff if you want to, but you don't see them on the movie anyway. Um, next thing you're going to do is come up to here and click the add button. Then you're going to have to find the movie that you're burning. Um, I'm going to burn one that I need to burn for the weekend, which is not in there, it's in favourites. Oh, this is, this is gay. Okay, I had to get a long way, but I found it. Uh, it's Kick-Ass, I just downloaded it. It's awesome quality, by the way. Um, once I've selected that, click DivX to DVD. Uh, if this ever comes up, just click OK. It'll delete any of the old temporary files. Um, and then it will burn. Uh, for the average movie, uh, about one gig in size, it'll take approximately half an hour to 45 minutes to do. So after that you can just pop it out of your DVD burner and watch it in the DVD player. So thanks for thanks for watching. See you later. Damn it, that's not the right hotkey. <laughs> and stop.